now this question was asked in year 2008 and in this question let me just number the five lines this is line number 1 this is line number 2 this is line number 3 4 5 6 7 and then they are asking what should be the content of the array p at the end of the program okay now let us try to solve this question now in this question we are having two variables i and j in the line number 1 so let us suppose this is the variable i and this is the variable j now in the line number 2 they are giving a 2d array and what are the number of columns in this 2d array the number of columns are 3 and the number of rows are 2 right so that means this is a 2d array okay here the number of columns are 3 and the number of rows are 2 so this is in the index location 0 this index location 1 this is 1 0 1 and 2 and this a is pointing to the base address of this array okay and the data stored is a b c d e f so it is storing a it is storing b it is storing c it is storing d it is storing e and it is storing f right now let us suppose the base address of this array is 1000 that is the address of this location is 1000 the address of this location will be 1002 sorry 1001 because it is a character array the address of this location will be 1002 the address of this location will be 1003 the address of this location will be 1004 and the address of this location will be 1005 okay now in the line number 3 they are giving us a second array and this second array is b so this is the second array which is having three rows and two columns right let us suppose this is a row number 0 this is a row number 1 and this is a row number 2 and these are the two columns right so this is 0 1 2 and this is 0 and 1 and it is pointed by b right in the line number 4 we are doing character star p is equal to star b so it is so line number 4 we are having character star p is equal to b this is actually uh, a mistake here this this should this should not be star here so it is character star p is equal to b that means this pointer p this pointer p is now going to the point to the next location which uh, to the location which is pointed by b so let us suppose this uh, location is 2000 so the b is storing 2000 this location will be 2001 this location will be 2002 because it is a character and the size of every character is only one byte and this location will be 2003 and this location will be 2004 and this location will be 2005 because we are using row major order so here character star b is equal to b right that means this p is storing the pointing to the location which is pointed by b so p is now going to store 2000 okay now in the line number 5 we are having the first for loop in the for loop we are initializing the variable i with 0 right so the i is now going to store 0 and then we are going to do i is less than 2 right and 0 is less than 2 correct so we'll come inside this for loop so now we are going to encounter the second for loop the second for loop we are saying j is equal to 0 right that means the value stored in in j is now 0 and this 0 is less than 3 which is also true so now we are going to come to this line number 7 now the line number 7 we are doing star of p plus 2 into j plus i is equal to a i and j right so what are the values so it is the value stored in uh, at in p is 2000 so it will be 2000 plus 2 into j and the uh, value stored in j is 0 so 2 into 0 is 0 plus i and the value stored in i is 0 so it is 0 is equal to a 0 0 that means it will be star of 2000 is now going to store the value stored by the index location by this array at the index location 0 0 so this 2000 now going to store capital a right now we'll come out of this inner for uh, for now this in this inner for loop uh, we execute the state statement number 7 now we are going to in increment the value of j so the value of j will now be 1 and then we are going to check whether 1 is less than 3 or not yes 1 is less than 3 therefore we are again going to execute the line number 7 now the line number 7 will be star of p plus 2 into 1 plus the value of i which is 0 is equal to a 
is equal to a 0 and 1 okay so it will be star of 2000 plus 2 is equal to a 0 1 and here this is a character array so the size of every index location will be only 1 that is 1 is the scalar value so if uh, that is 2000 plus 2 into the scalar value which will be 2000 plus 2 into 1 which is going to give me 2002 that means we are storing this 0 1 this value at the index location to uh, at this address 2002 so in the address 2002 we are going to store this value b okay now again if we check this value of j will be incremented so value of j will now be 2 now we will check this condition 2 is less than 3 correct so we will now execute again we will again going to execute the line number 7 so this line number 7 will now be star of p plus 2 into 2 plus i that is 0 is equal to a of 0 2 that means whatever the value stored at the second index uh, the second column in this a will now be stored at this index location right then this this will be star of p plus 4 is equal to a 0 2 right so this p is 2000 so that means star of 2000 plus 4 is 2004 that means at, at the index location 2004 we are going to store c right now the value of j will again be incremented to 3 now we will check the condition now 3 is not less than 3 therefore we will come out of this inner for loop and we will go to the outer for loop now in this outer for loop after this the value of i the value of i will be incremented and the value of i will become 1 ok now the value of i is 1 and the value stored in j is 3 so we will come to the line number 5 and the line number 5 will check if 1 is less than 2 or not yes 1 is less than 2 therefore we will we'll, uh, come inside this line number 6 that is the inner for loop now inner for loop we are again initializing j by 0 right so this j will now be initialized to 0 again so now we are checking 0 is less than 3 correct so we will come to the line number 7 now in the line number 7 we are going to do star of p plus 2 into j plus i is equal to a of i j right so that means p is storing 2000 plus 2 into j j is storing 0 plus i i is storing 1 plus a of is equal to a of 1 0 that is star of 2000 plus 1 is equal to a 1 0 which is 2001 that is star of 2001 is now going to store a 1 0 that means that at the location 2001 we are going to store the value which is given by this right and here we are going to store this is the location 2001 and we are going to store this value d here okay now again the value of j will be incremented and the value of j will now be 1 so when the value of j is 1 so this line number 7 will become star of p plus 2 into j that is 2 into 1 plus 1 is equal to a of 1 1 okay that means we are going to do star of 1000 sorry 2000 plus 3 is equal to a 1 1 that means at the location 2003 we are, we are going to store this value which is by a 1 1 so this e will be stored here okay and now if we do one more iteration this f will be stored here right so they, now they are asking what should be the content of the array b at the end of the program so what is the content a d b e and c f so a d b e and c f so option number b is correct okay